the uh, Kamala Harris campaign put out a statement stating several false, uh, making several falsehoods. One that I was a Trump operative, which is absolutely incorrect. Is it, is it to imply that I'm being paid by Trump or anyone associated? It said that I had a Project 2025 plan as if I was affiliated with that, with the Heritage Foundation or any kind of organizational function of it. Not true. And it stated that I wanted Trump to have extrajudicial authority to jail and execute the people who refused to support him, which is, I, I believe, the most shockingly extreme thing you could accuse someone of advocating for or believe in. And so when this tweet was made using a clip from my show pulled out of context, further insinuating that they had scrubbed it from YouTube as if to apply they, they knew exactly what was going on. Right. Yeah, they, I, I immediately started getting messages from people who are asking me what it's about. Uh, obviously, I had many friends who were like, I can't believe they would dare say something so, so obviously false. But there are actually people I knew, people that work here at my company who said family members were concerned and reached out to them. And so, uh, in fact, my my personal uh, family were freaking out, demanding that they have to take that down. I mean, we already have serious security issues as it is. We can't have the Democratic presidential campaign in a national election lying and accusing you of these things. And so, uh, you know, I'll state even last night we we had a uh, Matt Walsh on the show and you know, we debated the death penalty, to which I. I believe correctly and articulate, uh, articulately explained why an institutionalized death penalty is wrong and why I don't agree with uh, killing in this regard. And I, I just I'm not a fan of the death penalty for, for a variety of reasons. But it's routine, in fact, on my show that I speak out against the death penalty. And there's a lot of arguments for it. One is actually simple as taking a life is wrong. If someone is subdued and no longer a threat to anyone else, I don't believe their life should be ended. But to see the campaign make this argument is uh, they, they, they made a false statement, I should say, and they took it far beyond just an argument about the death penalty. They actually stated they're, they're presenting people with this reality, a false reality through this false statement that I would like to see a world. And I'm going to be very clear on how, how I say this. This is a false claim insinuating my belief would be somewhere in the realm of should Trump be elected, there would be individuals who would agree that if you don't support Trump, you'd be killed, which is insanity. Yeah. If we're going to argue the death penalty and we're going to argue the most heinous of crimes were committed, a man has you know murdered a, and brutally tortured somebody or something to this effect, and that we believe capital punishment should be applied is a totally different that that people make arguments about. What the Harris campaign stated is that I and others, but namely me with this video clip, think that people for no reason other than they don't support Trump should be executed, not even a capital crime. I, I think this is, I don't think there could be anything more extreme you accuse a person of advocating for or doing. This is effectively stating that I'd be in agreement in the worldviews of some of the most evil men throughout history who are reviled. It has caused us already uh, uh, damages. We filed the suit. Uh, I filed the suit. We're seeking uh, remedy. I, 